cream and sugar, cream and sugar, cream and sugar, mix it up. What's going on guys? We're doing a day of eating today. Hello. I'm drinking my Bulletproof coffee. I didn't tell them what's in it. Oh, what's in it? It's just coconut oil. That's it? Yeah, and some macadamia nut milk, but that's it. So we got an interesting question on the Curve forums today. Bulletproof coffee, do you still get all the health benefits of Bulletproof coffee if you have decaf? What are the health benefits of Bulletproof coffee? I don't think there are any. It's mainly a performance boosting thing. I wouldn't think of Bulletproof coffee as like a, a super healthy, like vitamin packed. I think of it just as like a, a good way to get in fats in the morning. That too. It's like really filling. I just like to get my morning started off like that because I'm not starving in the morning but I want something to get me through the workday. So that's the caffeine part. And then the fat is just very filling. And I use coconut oil because I think it's a better source of fat than like MCT oil. And ghee is like a really good animal fat alternative, right? So there could be like health benefits, right? Depending on the fat you use. MCT would be more performance. Yeah. Too. And there's like claims that when you have the fat with the caffeine, the, the caffeine is like takes longer to hit your system. I don't know if that's true. Haven't you like had a black cup of coffee and then like a bulletproof coffee and noticed a big no. difference? Okay, well we should do that. Also, finished my third book of the year, 1776. Highly recommend. It's your favorite out of all three, right? Very good. At least from my reading in this book, the thing that stood out to me, why the Americans won the war, the Americans used a merit-based system. So like the best people, most suited to do the job, got the jobs. The British, we're using more of like a grandfathered in, like he's from a well-respected family, he should be general type of a thing. There's a lot of other factors, I'm dumbing it down, but that's what I took away. Baby, I don't really have a net. Talk about love, but they'll kill you for the check. Taking all these drugs for the stress. You only want me if you only want me. I just see the sun in a hundred days. Takes your ass back down, I'm on my way. I'm on a right beat till I find my way. We made some homemade bone broth yesterday, so I'm gonna have some of this right now. I already had a coffee with cream this morning, and I'm hoping it stops raining because we got these lamb ribs that we, we already did once, like a week ago. They were so good and like super fatty and delicious. We have a little crabby baby here. He had a 40 minute nap. He has a bald patch in the back Don't of his head. show that. <laughs> all babies get it. All or most? I wanna say all, because they're sleeping on their back. I guess he actually has like the full halo going around, kind of. Mostly his back of his head now. Hi. Okay, so we just wrapped up filming a how to make kefir video for the curve. Join the curve.com if you guys are interested. And I'm going to have this for lunch. I did the second ferment with blueberries this time. It's really good. And it's jointhecurve.com. Like, that's one URL. Yeah, jointhecurve.com. When you say it, though, I would be like, oh, thecurve.com. That's what I would go to. Jointhecurve.com. Jointhecurve. Jointhecurve.com. And then we got some smoked salmon so, over here. I just went up to shower, and it's only 11, and now Matt's force-feeding me lunch at 11 You said you wanted it. You asked me, and I just walked away. Because oh. I, I was like, he's just messing. It's only 11. Well, I'm going to have it. I yeah, woke up I know. early today. And then you got mine out. And it's just like... I, and that's fun. I always think it's like someone from daycare being like, see, Julius is humping way too much today. You got to pick him up. Yesterday, I finally reheated some rotisserie chicken and like some mushrooms. I just put them, I'll put it all straight in the air fryer. Came out phenomenal. So everything you see today, I'll probably, if it's like veggies or anything, I'm just going to pop it in the air fryer. Ooh. And also, I got these pants a while ago. Matt got them for me. And like, I'm just like, what is this color scheme? Does it look okay? I love it. Back on the cheese, guys. I'm back fully committed to the cheese. I've been getting this uh, raw milk manchego, which is made from sheep's milk. So this is the lunch. It's 11 a.m. This is like, I think about two and a half ounces of the cheese, a big avocado, four ounces of the smoked salmon. I got this pre-cooked at the store. And then this homemade kefir. This is, what is this? Is this like two cups? One and a half cups, probably. So a lot of people ask how many carbs are in the homemade kefir. I don't exactly know. I ferment it for a really long time, like almost 72 hours. So I think most of the lactose gets eaten by then. I want to say, since I had the blueberries, this amount right here probably has six carbs in it or so. And Theo is having himself a day. I think he's teething. He's, he's teething, out. he's sad. I finished my lunch. I'm now having a handful of macadamia nuts. Yum. I've been buying those a lot. I've been plowing home. through them. I know. 
I get another flavor too, which I really like. Tuscan herb. I don't like it that much. Finally having some lunch, and this is all I could cut. The tomatoes are just like chopped really, I guess they look fine, but I was holding Theo. What's your review of having a baby after almost five months? It's the best thing ever. It changes your life in the best way possible, and there's no turning back, and that's a good thing. Like, it's just a constant challenge. I just concussed myself downstairs. How? I was trying to figure out the sauna. What do you mean figure I'm, it out? I'm doing a new challenge. What is figuring My out? My most daring challenge yet, how to hack the sauna to be hotter. Oh, how did you concuss yourself then? Because I fell. I was like climbing on top of it and I fell backwards. And <gasps> like... Now we got a podcast. With who? Dr. Phil Gazinski. Because it is craving for carbohydrates. So a true keto diet is very difficult to maintain. One of my favorites. You liked it? What was your biggest takeaway? Apparently in the stone ages, well, since the baby's always attached to the mom, they feed on average or just they feed every 11 minutes. It was interesting. Um, he was talking about how in the stone age that we were primarily plant eaters. We ate five to seven, six pounds, I think he said, or three to five pounds of plants every single day. And we rarely came across meat. Yeah, I don't think I agree with that. There's a couple things he said that I don't agree with, but I'm going to research them further. So the thing that stood out to me that I had never heard before, and I, I'm going to look this up and try finding sources for it. He says that meat in the Stone Age was zero saturated fat. It was all monounsaturated fat. He says saturated fat is created by the stuff we feed animals these days. I don't think that's true. I'm going to look into it. Yeah, he said a lot of interesting point this well, is going to be a good podcast yeah. coming out this sunday so these are called lamb denver ribs they don't look that good right now but they are I really put good chinese five spice seasoning on them we're back theo's asleep My, he's waiting. <laughs> look at her. they came out pretty good but here's the thing we noticed last time look at the bones you can't really cut them into ribs so you just gotta kind of like work on a chunk like that and then i got some green beans going for mega in the air fryer they've been in for like seven minutes a little more no it's probably good Okay. Lamb ribs. And I got green beans. So I got some beets here and we can talk about diet changes and stuff because I have been eating a little bit more carbs. So I think this amount of beets right here, it's about 12 grams of net carbs, maybe like 15 total. I guess what made me want to try them is Chris Kresser's superfood list. Oh. Maybe I'll link his superfood list below. Beets are on it. So I was like, oh, what's in beets that I need? They're also really delicious. They're not that sweet. Oh, I, I don't really enjoy them sweet. that much. I guess I'm kind of thinking like, now that I've been doing keto for a really long time, I have like a good degree of fat adaptation and I feel good about that. I don't think it makes the most sense to really like restrict carbs hardcore unless that's really what you prefer to do. But I think if you're like a healthy weight. Active. Maybe there's a case to be made for adding some more carbs. But not necessarily like going after rice and like oatmeal and things like that or like well, more... there's just no real nutrients in those right that's why like more refined ones um you're not getting really much out of them if at all mainly i've just been having sometimes i'll drink the raw milk usually i have it as kefir though um but sometimes i'll have like a couple cups of that which is over 20 carbs and then just like beets once in a while so nothing crazy like i probably top out at like 60 70 total carbs in a day and so for me the biggest difference i notice if i'm doing beets or something that's higher like a higher carb vegetable like more starchy it's not tempting me to eat more like i feel like if i ate some rice i would want more rice like how many carbs are my green beans not many maybe six so chloe kardashian has a has a clothing line it's called good american i applied in october every single year they pick a new set of women different shapes body sizes different stories so like that's their whole thing on their site you can pick the size model you want to see like wearing the clothing so it's just like an easy application and you post like you send in a picture i got like a callback so the callback is you actually go in physically and i saw some girls audition there's only one i could find online and it's like she was only there for like 30 minutes so you go in you answer a question you take like a picture and then that's it what's like the reward for this you're a model for good american see that's not a big enough reward for me oh is it like a springboard into a modeling career where are we going i guess it could be but i think it would just be cool to like you work with chloe kardashian like the next like if i got you're never gonna work with chloe kardashian though no nah, she just dropped Miley just knocked off a treat for julius it's this weekend on Saturday in Nashville. So Not that far. it's the only spot in the, like the south, southeast mm, of America, east. southeast of America. We're not going. I'm, I don't want to go. My friend's going to be here also this weekend, but like. Should she go? Comment. I think she should. I'll have Matt share the picture that I sent in. It's just in like an average picture. Yeah. I forgot 
We got this at the store the other day. You guys have probably seen these keto cups at Whole Foods, but they added an ingredient. They added- A couple. A couple? Yeah. They added Jerusalem artichoke fiber. I think that's the only one. So I wanted to retry these, because I like these, but a lot of you guys said they're too bitter when you tried them. And oh then, yeah, see, look, they're so much more firm. They don't even have a wrapper anymore. Oh, I don't like this. They're probably better. I don't know. The other ones are like softer. It's much more like what you would expect. It stays together. I like the other ones better. Does it taste, I don't know if it's that different, but yeah, I kind of am thinking I like the other ones better too. Do you want that? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have an after dinner snack. Macadamia nuts. I had a couple of, I had like five macadamia nuts um, during the podcast that I didn't show. And some dark chocolate. I'll probably have a Zevia. Oh, I'll have a Zevia too. I'm having a keto bar post dinner. Yay. Chocolate peanut butter flavor, it's super good. And I like the ingredients on this. So it's 21 fat, 13 total carbs, and six fiber and four erythritol. So three net carbs and eight grams of protein. Oh, and you guys can hear Theo in the back. Okay guys, we didn't really do an ending of the vlog, but Mega was up all night with Theo. He didn't sleep. All night. And now he's the happiest little pup on the block. He's so different in the morning. But I'm still determined to go to Pilates, so I need to feed him. Over the weekend, we actually did a really fun New Year's brunch. We're gonna start this like tradition with this couple friends we have, Ali and Chantel, and they have the cutest little baby Chanel, and we've basically already wed Chanel and Theo. Arranged marriage. Arranged, yeah. Um, and that makes sense in brown culture, For his which is Indian mine heritage. and Ali, yeah. They had a really good spread. We had, they had turkey bacon, um, these really good chicken sausages that How I heard- How do you feel about turkey bacon? I liked it. I, it's Mix like, it in every once in a while. I don't mind it. I don't prefer it, but like, I enjoyed it. I felt like I could eat more of it, you know? Yeah. Um, and they had this really good chicken sausage that I think you said you liked, but Ali said he didn't like. Yeah, I liked it. I really liked it too. Yeah. We'll eat anything though. Yeah. And then they did this really, really good egg like bake casserole with like veggies and cheese. It was really good. And uh, they even got birch benders like the paleo pancakes. Really good spread, really fun. And uh, yeah, that's like our, our new couple friends. So, so if you can envision it. Oh, I wish we could show you. We took a Christmas picture, all six of us too. But I don't think we're gonna show baby Chanel right on camera. Right. Yeah, that was our fun weekend thing. So we're starting to like get out and do things. And so. Feed your baby. Yeah, gotta go. All right, thanks for joining us. Bye.